What's up guys, it's me again, and we're back here with another tutorial. This one is either going to be a longer one or split into two parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Marvelous Designer, create an outfit for the character, and then put them in a scene. So yeah, let's begin this journey together. So yeah, first of all, I got this character over here. This, if you just go into the Cinema 4D assets and type in human, you can find the female nude. Uh, which is what this one's called and I just removed the hair because I felt it would be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for the look that I was going for um, that it like just the fabric sticks to the hair so yeah let's start by very simply just taking this model going up here file export FBX and then just saving it to your desktop let's just call this human cool so you can use any character I would just I wouldn't recommend you you should when you're uploading a character into Mixamo have them in the T-pose or else Mixamo doesn't actually you know use it which is really annoying which I had to find out the hard way but I'll show you guys how to import animations just now they'll be either in part two or later on in this video I guess we'll find out together so yeah let's hop over into Marvelous Designer over here we're gonna go file import FBX and we're gonna go to the desktop and look for our human character. Cool. All of that should be fine. You should just be able to click OK. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm no expert in Marvelous Designer, but I know how to do the very basics and for what we're doing, that's all we need. So yeah, let's go and let's draw a big rectangle around our beautiful lady over here doesn't have to be perfect, it can be as simple as that. And yeah, so let's click over here in this viewport. To work around in Marvelous Designer, if you middle click, you can move around and then right click to rotate. It's a little weird going from like Cinema 4D to this, it's, it takes some getting used to, because if you use like the one, two, three, four that you would in Cinema 4D, it changes to different camera angles. So yeah, and yeah, let's get started on this. We're just gonna rotate this holding shift to get it perfectly aligned Let's just put it over here in the center just bring it yeah it should be fine and then we're just going to hit this little simulate button and it's going to fall down and look very nice it's fine if it's going through the fingers and stuff like that you don't have to worry about that for now we'll fix that later but if you are worried, all you need to do is let you just pick and pull it away. But that is not a problem for now. Cool, so let's go in up here and just cut out our little head. So I would recommend kind of doing this shape. You'll see why in a bit. We want to have it that this person can have a hoodie. And so I find that doing it this method making this little triangle this is not at all a triangle this is a one two three four five six six uh not pentagon not octagon it's a something gone uh, i'm sure it will pop up on screen when i figure it out so yeah let's go over there change to our um so you have to use this tool over here to create the shape but if you right click nothing's going to happen so we have to click on this one next to it over here this edit line 3d now we're gonna right click and say convert to internal shape. And now you'll see over here in this view, we actually have a object. So now what we can do over here, selecting this tool over here, right clicking and saying convert to hole. And now we have a hole. So now if we press simulate again, it fits over the head. Isn't that just beautiful? Cool, so we're gonna set up a hoodie now make the hoodie so what we want to do when creating the hoodie is that we need two connections over here so there's one at the back and then one in the middle over here so let's go like that like that make it go up add a little bit of a curve and then connect then we're gonna click this tool over here say symmetric pattern and click over there very simple but it works Cool, so let's just position this closer to her head. Yes, there we go. 
rotate that, rotate this, bring them a little bit closer. You'll see why we bring them closer, because if you put them too far away from the actual subject, when you simulate the sewing, uh, I've had it in the past where it just, you know, mess up that, and we don't really want that, so yeah, I find that this is the best method for this. Nice, I think that looks good. Cool, so now we go over here into the sewing tool over here, and let's look over here. So this part over here is gonna sew onto this part. That is, you can see over here, is the incorrect way around, so make sure that that doesn't happen. Just kind of try it again. That looks good. And then here and here. How does that look? That's not twisted. Awesome. And then here, we're gonna connect here not twisted here and oh. it helps if you connect the sewing to the correct areas and again we have it incorrect still not uh, if you guys know of a better way of doing this that you know it actually goes the right way around each time you know, share in the comments, we're all here to learn, we're all here to share knowledge. Cool, and then we're just going to do the last sewing over here. It's going to mess up again, obviously, and again, and we're just going to try again until it works. There we go. Now we're going to sew these pieces together. Super simple. And if all is well, we should be able to cl click the simulate button, and we have a nice little hoodie. Wow, isn't that just beautiful? So what sucks is that this hoodie is way too small, but we can fix that by just going over here and increasing the size. And because of the fact that we have a symmetric object, when you change the one, it changes the other. Isn't that just great? Nice. Cool. Let's just change the size a bit. Maybe that's a little bit too wide. Maybe like that. And now let's try simulate again. And that's a little bit better. Now it covers her. I still want to like cover a little bit over the forehead. So let's just increase it by a tiny bit, let's see, nice, I think that works, because now we can add some wind and it will affect that, cool, so that's the basic setup of how to create basic fabric, um, so this will look okay, you can see it's kind of low res, it's like this, this isn't great, this, there's no moist meter over here, but what we can do is that if we can click on the objects up here and we go to this particle distance, we can change this lower. So I usually go around like 10, that seems to be a good amount where it still renders at a decent rate, but then also comes out semi like realistic. So you'll see over here, if we press simulate again, that it turns out a little bit more realistic. And yeah, you can change the particle distance as much as you want, depending on your system and depending on the outcome that you're trying to get from it. It all depends. For our specific scene, it's not going to be a close-up, so it's okay if the garment isn't the best quality. So yeah, 10 should be fine for now. Actually, I'm changing it to 20 just so we can work around the viewport. Cool, so if you haven't already saved, uh, I've already saved, um, I did a different project. So yeah, now let's jump into Mixamo and create the animation. Cool, let's go to Mixamo.com. If you guys don't know what Mixamo is, it's a great place to get like free uh, animations, which is just so useful. But unfortunately, ever since Adobe bought it, they've decided that they're not gonna do any more animations, which just sucks. But at least there's like a large library of animations that we can use, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but still, kind of sucks. Cool, so now that we're in Mixmo, we're going to go over here to upload character. Select a character, we're going to go and get our nice little human. Uh, I presume it's that human. And 
and that is the incorrect human. But somehow we ended up with the another human. Okay, let's go over here. Hopefully this is the correct file. Now we're just going to set up this basic low rig. It's very simple, just drag and drop. Very simplistic. It doesn't even have to be perfect. And it will auto rig it for you, which is so convenient. Um, yeah. Cool, now that we have our character in, let's just look for a basic walk. So, I'm... Um, I think... We're looking for just a... Continuous walk. I think, there we go, stand walk will work perfectly. Cool. And now all we need to do is just say, download. Uh, let's can... Yes. Cool, so this is going to download the walk cycle, which is what we need for the first part. But we also need to find just a static T-pose so that we can bring that into Marvelous Designer. Cool, so what we're going to do now is, now that we've got the animation, we want to export just the T-pose. So we're going to go download and we're just going to go with original pose. Um, I would suggest going with original pose over T-pose because T-pose would be straight on and that means that when you throw it into Marvelous Design and if your arms are like this, the clothes are also going to be like that, which means that your arms are going to break through. So yeah, that's for that. We're going to press download. Then we're going to import it into Marvelous Designer. So import, we got the pose over here. So to make sure that you've like, you actually got the right animation, we're just going to click shift and X and you'll see that you have bones now which is exactly what we need so now we're gonna save this so let's go save projects let's call this just yeah just one should be fine and now let's open up a new one cool so now that we have a new project open we can now open the animation that we downloaded so you could have downloaded any animation but for the purpose of this tutorial we downloaded the standard walk Cool, that is fine. We got this first frame over here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go File, Save as, Pose, and we're gonna call this Walk, Walk Pose. Cool, so now that we have that, we can now go and open our project, and let's open up the one that we had saved, which was one. Shift X to get out of there. So now to change this, we're going to go to open, ah, there we go, we're going to go open, pose, and we're going to select the pose that we just selected, and we're going to select OK, and now it's going to move into that pose, which will enable us to actually start this animation. Such a mission, I know, Marvelous Designer really needs to, I don't know figure out a better way of doing that because I don't know it doesn't work great for me in my opinion so yeah, let's just fix this take the fabric out of ladies hands and there we go that's that's looking good so we also want to simulate some wind so we're gonna have a go over here to display environment and show wind controller and we're just gonna click on the wind go over here to activate and now you can see there is wind. That's a little bit too much wind for our purposes, to be honest. So, let us try and get this hoodie back on. There we go. If you want the hoodie to stay on and you don't want it to, like, kind of fall around, I, I wanted it to just, you know, just so it looks more realistic if it does. 
if you hold down W and click, let me show you, if you hold down W and click, it will now be stuck. You'll see it makes those points. That means that you can move this, but those points are going to be stuck there. So if you really want it to stick down, that's how you would go about doing that. One thing I forgot to tell you guys, one thing I forgot to mention, sorry, was that once you've got the pose imported, now you can go to File, Import, FBX, and now you can import your actual walk animation. Because now at least you have the first starting frame of that, and now when you press Animate, you'll see it walking. Awesome. So make sure you don't want to do what I do and remove these little things. To remove them, it's just as simple as going back over here, clicking that, and just clicking delete, and then it should be fine. Cool. So then once your animation is done, you're gonna go over here, file, export, and you're gonna go has this Alembic HD F5. Cool, that's pretty much the gist of Marvelous Designer. Now let's jump into Cinema 4D and get this animation on the way.